Good morning, guys. Look at that sunrise. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's going to be warm today. It's about 8 a.m. Saturday, and the uh, temperature is about 36. It's supposed to be in the 40s today, in the middle of December. Almost Christmas. Crazy. Um, but I'll take it. I will take it. Give me more of that. I like that. So I was just out here hanging out with the chickens. They are enjoying the fact that we don't have very much snow. And I'll show you in a little bit. Um, they uh, are just like booping around in the woods and having a blast. We had like a rain shower, uh, I don't know, sometime last week. And uh, it just got rid of most of the snow. We have just little piles here and there from where we plowed. And um, so they're still enjoying getting out in the woods, which is awesome for the chickens. So let's go see what they are up to this morning. <laughs> Taking advantage of no snow, huh? Look at this guy. Right up on the rock, just like his dad. So this is the chick that I had, um, was it four? Four chicks this past spring hatch from a hen that was broody. And this is the rooster that came of it. So him and, I don't know, I had like some white ones, that white one down there, all white pretty much. Um, I can't tell them now. That one may be because she looks pretty white. They turn yellow after a while. But um, this guy, this is Boots. We call him Boots. He's a two-year two -year guy, I think. We've had him for a while. But, yeah, this guy's new. Chickens everywhere. But they're enjoying being outside. And it's mild. It's mild as heck. Yesterday, I had some wicked wind. Um, but it's just a little light breeze. I can see the leaves on the trees just a little bit. But yeah, look at this guy. He looks just like Yeti. Not quite as big yet, but he's getting there. He's a good boy, too. We haven't had him try to attack anybody. This guy. He likes to follow me around, Boots. He's kind of the odd man out. Yeti doesn't like him. He chases him off. So he hangs out with me a lot when I'm outside, which is fine. So I guess we're gonna hang out in the middle of the driveway and taunt anything flying over for breakfast. Really guys? But you can see how much snow we have left after that rain. It's just the snow banks. If we hadn't plowed, those snow banks wouldn't be there and wouldn't be a big deal. But evidently we're gonna go down the, go down the driveway a little bit. We got a nice view this morning, blue sky. It's beautiful out today. I'm out in a sweatshirt. Like I said, it's gonna be nice and warm today. Oh, there goes Sally running like a bat out of hell. So this is, this is Laverne right here. She's the old lady. So is Sally. Sally's been here uh, quite a while. I got Sally and two or three other of her sisters when I got my turkeys a few years back, which I missed immensely. Um, I really missed them, but they were meat turkeys, which I had no idea, I've never had turkeys before. And uh, they just grow so big and fat that they couldn't even walk. So we had to take care of them, unfortunately. And I'm so sad about it because they were just so fun to have around. But I was gonna say, Laverne's the the red right there. Right by the black chicken Sally. Look at them all huddled up. Something's probably flying. But I asked her this morning what she planned on doing today. I said, Laverne, what are you doing today? What are you planning? And she said, well, we're gonna peck around and find out. I was like, wow, Laverne, that's something. That's, I mean, that's kind of the way to do it, I guess. And so that's pretty much what they're doing. 
pecking around and finding out. I caught Sally in the, uh, Sally's the black Morans. I caught her in the nest box. And her and Laverne are probably the oldest chickens that I have. And Sally's laying eggs. But we are now getting three eggs a day, which is good. And one of them is small, so I'm thinking that one of the... Um, one of the, the chicks from this past spring is laying now. So, because they're small, then they'll get bigger, you know, as the time goes on. But that's pretty good, three eggs. That's We were down to one. We were at a... At one egg a day for quite a while. And Rosie Rosie's found something over here. She's digging the china. She found some good dirt. Which fine, Rosie. You found something to eat, huh? You blend right into those leaves really good. Oh, what was that? I don't care. I found something yummy, she says. Rosie's going to dig around and find out. We're going to head down the driveway. What the heck? Are you guys running away? I guess so. But there's a lot of area that they can kind of hang out on. There's my boots. He hangs out with me. Look at that sun this morning. Gorge. Loving it. Bring it on. Bring on the mild weather. I like it. We'll pay for it. January, February, I'm sure. But whatever. Whatever. Loving the view. It's beautiful. Eddie and his crew down there in the middle of the driveway. You guys are just tempting fate. You better hope there's no hawk up there in a tree. that he was seeing over here on this little patch of of uh, snow right here by the house right in front of the garden this is the garden so this, this is a little patch of snow here and yeah we've got tracks everywhere there's some of course that are chicken tracks but there's some canine some sort probably koi dog he thought fox this is everywhere. And then deer. And then, yeah, look at that one. So we've got some tracks. We've got some, we've got some activity out here right in front of the stinking house. It's right here. We're, we're right here. See? That's where the patch is. That's the house. That's the little patch of snow. They're hanging out down here. At night, of course, when the chickens are locked up, so I'm not too, too concerned, but still, sometimes uh, they like to come out in the daytime. But yeah, there's some, a lot of different tracks there. A lot of them. Plus some chicken tracks, too. So the rain started Sunday afternoon all through Sunday night into Monday. Pretty heavy rains. It was devastating. 
There's a lot of towns through here, a lot of roads flooded and washed out, washed away, culverts. Uh, a lot of basements flooded and power outages, so everything in freezers and refrigerators gone. So a lot of bad stuff happened here just in over a few hours and uh, we're okay. Everything's good here. Uh, we have uh, chicken blew over because we had some pretty extensive winds too. But besides that, things worked out pretty well for us. Um, but I'll just include some footage here of uh, some of what we caught, of, you know, our people around town caught for video and pictures of what happened. And I'll share those with you so you can see the devastation that happened around here. So still this is Wednesday and people are still without power and still some flooding, roads closed, uh, lots of that stuff going on. So thanks for watching. Stick around and watch the end. I'll leave some videos and some photos of what uh, people caught around town and around the area and see what happened here just a few hours ago.